Hello Mandelbull Bags. Today I would like to show you what is new in Mandelbull Bag 2.27. I just see this new version, so it's a good opportunity to, to show new features. Uh, let's start with uh, main thing uh, which was added to the Mandelbull Bag, which is navigator tool. It allows to navigate in the fractal or change parameters with instant uh, preview. So let's start with some basic settings. So for example, Mandelbox formula. If I open navigator from navigation uh, dock, it will open the view of the fractal where I can, as you see, navigate in the fractal with mouse or with arrows here, or with keyboard. If I use keyboard, I can also do the same. Yeah, so depending how how you wish to do this, you can you can navigate in the fractal. As you see, preview is very fast here, almost uh, in time. Depending, of course, on the equipment which you have. But I don't have super fast machine, and it's still very fast. In the navigator you have uh, following options. First of all you can change size of the of the preview. You can change quality. Auto quality will progressively change the resolution of the image. As you see it starts from low resolution then it goes to the higher and higher and finally gets higher resolution. But if I select lower, uh, lower resolution you will see that resolution is is the is reduced yeah, for the preview if i use even lower yeah, it can be even very low of course then it's again the is faster automate mode should work in most of cases mm. other option is you can uh, disable shadows so as you see now the shadows are not calculated it makes rendering faster, but it's le more difficult to to feel the shapes of the fractal. From here, you can also disable and enable uh, reflection transparency and the volumetric effects. It will can also speed up uh, speed up rendering. So, for example, if you have some uh, some fractal which renders slow. For example, I will load this one, which is very slow for rendering. You see, it renders very slow. Yeah. But in Navigator, you can have disabled reflections, volumetric effects, and then rendering will be way faster. As you see, now it's very fast because it doesn't calculate reflections. If I enable reflections, it will start to calculate uh, reflections. Next thing which is interesting in a navigator is uh, optimization, which I did for uh, CPU rendering. So if I disable OpenCL, um, of course, it, wa it was always uh, the problem with real-time preview, but in the navigator, you see that even without OpenCL, it preview is is fast, almost real-time. So you can also navigate in the fractal with, uh, uh, without open uh, open CL. There is one uh, one option which I added to uh, Navigator. It's dark glow mode, which disables shadows, disables reflections and volumetrics, and adds glow to the rendering, which is you can see that on the outer, outer side of the object, there is the glow which help to to feel uh, what is the depth of uh, different place of the fractal. 
Mm-hmm. Can show it this with Van der Bulf fractal. You will see. I am running without OpenCL in CPU mode. Yeah. So you can see that the preview is even faster. And this glow imitates shadows, so it's uh, easier to to see the shapes. Without without the glow, it's like that, yeah. Everything has almost the same brightness, but with with glow you can see some kind of shadows here. Okay, let's switch on OpenCL. Then it's completely real time. You can see even high, high resolution. With shadows also. Uh, when you finish edits, you can use button use in main window. Then this what you set in navigator came to the main window. You can change uh, also, you can change some parameters of the fractal effects also from Navigator. So we have Navi button in different uh, places. One place is Material Editor. So if I press Navigator, open Navigator from here, I can change uh, change parameters of uh, the material with instant preview. So if I increase specular shadows or maybe uh, the reflections, why not? 0.5. Ah, now there are no reflections because I have disabled it. So now I have, we have reflections on. So we can edit particular parameters. And what is interesting, for example, if you want to check some details of the fractal, how it will look with the material, you can edit material and then use this button, use in main window without camera. Then it will take only material parameters to the main window without camera position and rotation. You can see this, yeah? Camera is in the same position, I only change material position. You can also you uh, run uh, navigator from fractal tabs. So from uh, for this first for formula tab, you can press Navi. Then you can change fractal formula parameters. Change. Real time. Even with shadows, with OpenCL, if you have a good GFX card. It also runs fast. Okay, of course, it depending on the fractal and effects which you have. Uh, another way to open Navigator is from Effects. So you can go to Effects and open Navigator, and then you can change all the effects. For example, I can add fog. Of course, I need to enable volumetrics to see to see the changes. Yeah, so I can, you can see that now. I can change parameters of uh, of volumetric fog. There is one thing which I added in uh, this version: there are buttons. Uh, multiply by two, div division by two, which change parameters of volumetric fog, all parameters at the same time. So it will be easier for you to change those parameters. Okay. Next, very interesting thing, which is new in in Mandelbulber is. Uh, Subsurface scattering effect. So let's take this fractal. What is uh, subsurface scattering? Normally, when you uh, create transparent object, so I will go to auto refresh and 
increase transparency of the surface, the object starts to be transparent, but uh, only what uh, happens is that the light is refracted on the surface of the fractal, but nothing happens inside. Uh, in the previous version, there was a possibility to change transparency of the volume of the object with some certain color. For example, I could change this to some red color to be better visible. If I change this, you can see that it starts to be semi-transparent, but this effect haven't, hasn't considered uh, uh, light sources. So let's make this white and show what is new. First of all, you can now you can use color gradient for this integral of the fractal. So it uses coloring algorithm also for volume of the object. So as you can see now, if I'm I'm reducing the uh, transparency of the object, the object is colored inside. Uh, and what happened if I enable subsurface scattering? Then some portion of the light is scattered inside the object. It receive, in, receives shadows and creates shadows inter, uh, inside the object, which makes uh, volume of the object semi-transparent in a very realistic way. So let's change transparency. Oh, wh why not to use navigator? Yeah, will be will be faster. I'm opening navigator. I need to enable reflections for that. Press render. Okay. So if I'm changing transparency of the volume, it has effect on this subsurface scattering effect. So it defines how deep the light is penetrating the object. If transparency is lower, it only penetrate the object is penetrated a little with the light. If transparency is uh, higher, the light penetrates object more. It's uh, worth to mention that it works with uh, many light sources, so you can put light source inside the object, which will illuminate volume of the object inside the object. Yeah, so it gives you a lot of a lot of opportunities. One tip, additional tip, is in uh, some cases it's good to set transparency of the surface not one, but to keep a little. Uh, not transparent surface, so, uh, then it uh, looks more realistic. So you can see st uh, specular reflections on the surface, but it's still uh, very transparent, so you can see what uh, the volume of the object. Of course, you can use the subsurface scattering without coloring of the interior, then it will look like this. Next thing which is improved in Ma Mandelbulber, there are sliders. So let's use this Mandelbox form formula. In old version, when you uh, click on some edit field, the, the slider, if I move this uh, uh, to the side, it, it all the time change the value. Yeah? So you have to, it 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 need that more skills to to use that. Now it's uh, improved a lot because it changes the value around the initial value. So if I started from two, then if I move the slider to the side, it change progressively the uh, the value. But as further I'm from the center, steps of the change value changes are higher. So I can change val the value very precisely if I'm moving just close to the center, or I can change the value a lot if I need. So if I'm here, minus three, you can see, I can change only a little, but I can change further by moving the slider further. So 
step uh, step of the change is progressing. Uh, in addition, there are added sliders for rotation. So if I define rotation, in previous version you could, could use only this round button. But now you can use additionally the slider, which can change the angle very slightly with high precision. And of course you can change in a further range when you go, go further. So we now we have two options. Use this, uh, this rotating button and or, or the slider. Next important change in Mandelburg, there are shortcuts. So if I'm in pr program preferences, there is new tab, shortcuts, where you can define own keyboard layout layout for uh, uh, for manipulating of the camera and uh, some additional options like render or stop. There are two, two predefined layouts. One is default uh, layout of Mandelburg and there is another li layout which uh, uh, which was uh, from Mandelburg 3D. So this is original layout from uh, uh, Mandelburg. This is from Mandelbrot 3D. So, and you can also define your own one. So, just click here and s press some button, and then, then it uh, remembers your your choice. Yeah. So you can you can uh, use any any options for the key, uh, from the keyboard. You can even uh, combine like Shift uh, with Shift key or Control key, whatever you want. Uh, in previous version, that was not possible to rotate the camera with mouse when you click out of the object. So it was possible only when you click on the object initially. Now you can click in any place and do drag of the camera. So this is this is improved. You can also use uh, mouse wheel here. Oh, about mouse wheel, now moving of the camera is without control key. So if I just rotate mouse wheel, it moves the camera, which makes this much easier. Uh, next improvement is about undo function. Uh, in in previous version, it if, even if I drag the camera like that, it's safe. It uh, it's safe at uh, undo for every small step of the movement. Now it uh, save undo when I stop doing movement. So it uh, saves now and now. Yeah, so not every time. So for example, if I do this movement and use undo, it goes to this position, not for every small step. I think it will uh, improve this function a lot because uh, in previous version you ha sometimes you had to click many times after uh, camer uh, camera manipulation with mouse. Okay, I think those are the most important changes in the program. Mm, uh, I hope you will like it and enjoy making new fantastic fractals. <laughs>